All right, so I'm back a little late. Um, I was like really busy with school and tired and I just actually just didn't feel like making a video. So I'm making it a little bit late. It should be up on Sunday. Um, I'm out of breath. Why do I always get out of breath when I make YouTube videos? But um, so today I am gonna do um, my daily foundation routine, just how I um, apply all my um, face makeup and my face makeup and all that good stuff and what products I use. A uh, list of products will be down below in the description and um, yeah let's get to this. Alrighty so I'm gonna voice this over again because my sisters were screaming and yelling in the hallway and that got all over the audio. So shout out to my sisters. Alrighty so this is just me talking about primer. Um, I don't have a primer that I particularly like at the moment, um, mostly because I've just been trying to find one that works really well with my foundation. And I haven't been able to find one that works really, really well. Um, so I was just using the e.l.f. Um, mineral, um, mineral Primer. And I don't usually recommend their products just because they're not the best quality. And if you're going to be wearing your makeup all day and you want it to look the best that it can, then you definitely want to stay away from their products. But that primer, in combination with my Mag Studio Sculpt, seems to keep the foundation on pretty well for the amount of time that I wear it. Alright, and then I just go in with concealer. And this is just a Maybelline concealer, oh, concealer, concealer that I got um, from Target. It's just a drugstore makeup. Uh, and then I just take my finger and I blend it in all over my face. Ew, what was that face? Alright, and then you just want to make sure that your foundation, not your foundation, your concealer <clears throat> dries onto the skin so that when you're putting the foundation on, it doesn't like pick it up and drag it all over the skin um, so that it stays and covers like you need it to. Alright, and then I use MAC Studio Sculpt in NC15. However, it is much darker than I like it because I like to be really pale, so I wear foundation that is a little too pale for me. Um, and I mix it with Berry M in white. And then I just use a stippling brush. This brush is by Sonia Kushik, like most of my other brushes. And I just put it all over my face. Now, for those of you who don't use a high coverage foundation like this, um, with a foundation like this, a little does go a long way. Um, so, it's just always good to keep that in mind with foundation. It's much easier to build coverage than it is to get rid of it. Because then you just kind of look goopy and then you're better off starting over. This is something that I see a lot of people that wear high coverage foundation don't do. They do not blend it up into their hairline and then they end up having the line. And then I take my foundation all the way down my neck just because I wear foundation that's a little too light for me. And also foundation doesn't have the same texture as skin. So when you have your neck that has like not the same finish, it doesn't really look all that natural. Then I just take my Beauty Blender sponge um, after I've soaked it up with lots of water and I just take it all over everything that I put foundation on just to blend out the texture and give it that matte finish. Then I usually just go in and put concealer right over 
my real trouble spots that seem to just never get the coverage that I want on them. And now because I wear such a high coverage foundation, um, it tends to take away all the like colors and uh, shadows in your face. So I go back in with um, a darker foundation, powder foundation, and a fluffy angled brush. And I just make a fish face and just contour right into that, <clears throat> right into that crease. And I add shadows all around just to give a little bit more dimension. Ugh, septum ring is itchy, apparently. Then I just take another Sunny Kushik brush and my MAC foundation or foundation, my MAC blush, and um, I do not remember exactly what color that is, but it'll be down in the description. And with uh, MAC blushes, I feel like they go on really, really, really heavy. Um, so I try to do the lightest brush strokes as possible, and then I go back in with that other fluffy brush and kind of blend out all the harsh color lines. Oh my gosh, what am I doing with that nose ring? Oh, and then I just take a mineral highlight that I got from Sally's um, on another brush and just add that right on top of my cheekbones. Blend, 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 blend. Alrighty, so that's how I do my face. Um, if you have any questions, comments, like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, questions down below, suggestions for future videos, what you guys want to know, what you guys want to see. Um, and yeah, alright, thanks for watching.